Good morning, everyone. It's day 21 of the 30 day video challenge. And today we're just going to be pottering around. We've got some things to do in our neighbor's plot. I've, I want to focus on maybe starting and demolishing the rest of that path, which is a bit of a laborious job, but it's just smashing and chucking it all on the street, ready for the trailer on the tractor. And we're just going to bring you along the journey. We had a lot of wind last night and unfortunately we forgot to zip up the large polytunnel and the little mini cold frame, but they did survive. They look a bit worse for wear, but no tears or rips, which is good, unlike the other one. So, got lucky with that. Hope you have a really good day and we'll see what we get up to. So it's incredibly windy, so there might be a lot more time lapses in today's video than there is usually, purely just to increase the entertainment factor we don't want it to be too scratchy on your ears but this is my plan i want to get rid of all this crap here and start digging it up my sledgehammer is currently in the pavlikenny region at bex and johnny's house but I'll be able to get quite far with the spade just cracking it and things like that and there's still a load of rubble near the kitchen window which can be put ready on the road for the trailer so we'll see how we get on Okay, so half of it is now demolished and then I'll just get the shovel and sc scrape up all that shrapnel for the road and get all these boulders onto the street ready for when dad's got the trailer on. Managed to find some nice square tiles for the kitchen and we'll see where it goes from here. So before we stop for dinner, I just want to show you what Nish has been doing. So the other day we de-weeded this strawberry patch and we thought none of them were going to survive because it's such, such crap soil, it's full of hardcore and they've actually come back. So we de-weeded it, found about 30 to 40 strawberry plants and to give the soil a bit more of a fighting chance, we've laid down some cardboard and some grass cuttings. So that should do them pretty well. And then we've got a little pile of white stone for the planters going on here. And three meters of the path has been done up to the first step, because they're pretty much joined. The road potholes are getting filled, so that's all good. So it's just this little section left. And then these might get moved tomorrow, but we're making good progress. So we come out for lunch, Nish is in Stefka's plot, our neighbours, doing some weeding and mulching for the garlic. I've just heard this bit of ridge into the alley, a bit of tulips got in the way but there's some bulbs still left intact so I'm just going to bury them, get some fresh soil from the swimming pool, level it off best I can and then move all those borders tomorrow.
Let's go see what Nish is up to. Nish is just trying to get a bit of green mulch on top of these strawberries and thin them out. So I'm going to lop a load of these purple heads off because someone mentioned in the comment section that they're incredibly invasive. And I don't know why you'd think that, but they're bloody everywhere. So I'm going to get on with that. Okay, so it's getting near the afternoon now, it's about half four and we just went for a little quick stroll and we came back with some black berry cuttings from a corner street up the road. So I'm just going to turn you around, show you these, I'm going to get them in the ground tonight and that'll be uh, the end of the day. So I'm choosing to put one here where the path has just been demolished. It's in line with the mystery berry. So there's one there, and I'm putting one here, which is in line with the raspberry. And then when the trellis is there, it should be nice for the berry garden. So we'll have one in the, the metal crate, blackberry, blackberry, raspberry, raspberry, and blueberry. So that's the two blackberry cuttings in place bedded in with some fresh compost and then some existing soil on top hopefully fingers crossed there'll be a nice addition to the berry garden but that wraps up day 21 of the challenge hope you're enjoying and thanks very much for watching tomorrow we're going back to pavlikene it's going to be a weekly occurrence so we're going to try and tackle that remaining of the cupboard underneath the chimney if you've seen the previous video get that out of the way and totter around in the house, try and knock off what we can before they come back. So stay tuned. Division in.